Dear listener, welcome to my channel. Topic of this video is image compression. It is part 4. In this video, I am going to discuss two techniques of lossless data compression. First one is packbit encoding that is RLE and second is Huffman encoding. Now let us start. First we will see what is mean by lossless data compression. Lossless data compression allows the exact original data to be reconstructed from the compressed data. Lossless data compression is used in many applications like zip, unzip tool that is Unix tool gzip. It is often used as component within a lossy data compression technique. Examples of lossless data compressions are for repetitive sequence encoding we use packbit encoding or RLE. For variable length encoding which reduces the coding redundancy we use Huffman and arithmetic coding and for predictive coding we can use lossless predictive coding in which quantizer is absent. Now in this video we are going to see this packbit encoding and Huffman encoding. <coughs> packbit encoding or also called as run length encoding. It is simplest form of data compression. It always seeks the repeated data values. Packbits is considered an RLE compression scheme because it looks for run or repeated values and tallies their number or length. So these two things are required. While its name implies that runs of bits are packed together, it is actually runs of bytes. Packbits works by reducing the repeated string of the same character into two components, the run count and the run value. The count and value are stored in one byte each. Each two byte grouping is referred as RLE packet. Now we will see the example. In the above figure, 32 zeros and 24 ones are there. So this is a file in which zeros are repeated for 32 times and ones are repeated for 24 times so we are getting the continuous runs if we don't use any encoding then we are using 8 bits to store the zero so therefore the size of the original size size of the images or file is 32 into 8 plus 24 into 8 so for storing each zero we are using 8 bits and for storing each ones we are using 8 bits so total 448 bits are required but using RLE, we are storing this zero information into byte and once information into byte. So for zeros, so zero is repeated for 32 times. So we are using two byte. So 32 is stored in one byte and that value of the pixel that is zero is stored in another byte. So this is nothing but pack. So that is called as RLE packet. So first is count and second is the character. And for the ones same. So 24 times 1 is repeated. So 24 and 1s. So here it is stored in 2 bytes. So total 4 bytes are required. So while after compression size of the file is 32 bits. At receiver side this is the lossless compression technique. So at receiver side decompression takes place. Now receiver is getting the information like this. That is 32 zeros and 24 ones. While at decompression it will replace the 0 by or replicate 0 for 32 times. And after that it will replicate one for 20 times and we will get the exact as a original data that's why it is a lossless compression technique this method is efficient only when there are runs of the same color otherwise it results in a negative compression it is not good compression scheme for image with large color tone as they don't have continuous runs of the color and in such case negative compression can be possible a bi-level image that is binary image can be efficiently encoded using RLE it is also used in TIFF and PDF files. Advantages Simple to implement, fast to execute. Disadvantage Compression ratio is low as compared to the other algorithms. It is used in mostly TIFF, BMP and the fax files. Now we will see the second technique that is nothing but Huffman encoding which try to find out uh, or which try to reduce the coding redundancy present in data. Basically it is a variable length encoding. Huffman encoding is an entropy encoding algorithm used for data compression. I have already published the video on entropy. So it is very important to understand the entropy from the compression point of view. Because based on the entropy measure, we can identify whether the image contains a coding redundancy or interpixel redundancy. And based on that, we target to reduce that type of redundancies. Lower the entropy, that is the more similarity or less randomness, the higher is the encoding rate. The idea behind the coding is to give the there are uh, we are using variable length so we can see that whether the character is frequently occur or rarely occur if it is frequently occur we assign the few number of bits but if it is rarely occurring we are assigning more number of bits 
the coding is constructed in such a way that no two constructed codes are prefix of each other this is very important and this is required at the time of decoding this property about the code is crucial with respect to easily decompression of the code so these two points will be will be cleared in while we solve the problem the steps for building the huffman tree first is character count begin by counting how often each character appears in the message probability calculation calculate the chance of each character appearing priority symbol because here we are mostly uh, focusing on the characters which are uh, frequently occurring and which are rarely occurring so we are taking the or we are arranging the symbols or characters in a file based on their probability so we will sort in a descending order combine least likely now here we require to build the tree so uh, building of the huffman tree is takes place at the bottom repeatedly merge the two least probable characters repeat and build keep merging pair until just one group remains and forming the huffman tree now we will see the example to understand this how to build the huffman tree and how to encode and decode the data now here the question is like this perform huffman encoding on given data calculate average word length size of the original and compressed data and for a given sequence acf encode and decode that signal now total characters are 133 the file is given and here we can see that f is repeated most frequently that is 85 times and b is repeated very less frequently other characters are had a equal probable now we first we calculate the probability of each character by dividing by the total number of characters so 12 by 133 in this way we calculate the probability of each character now we are arranging the probability in descending order because we want to build a huffman tree from the bottom from the bottom so we always add the two list symbols and arrange in again half arrange in again in descending order now this is the way that is first we will add the last two probabilities and again arrange and after this one group remains only one group we will build this huffman tree now we'll see in a sequence way so f d e a c b we arrange last two that is 0.0502 which becomes 0.07 cb here it is not important to write down the cb but when same equal probabilities are there and while drawing this huffman tree it gets confused so better you write down that whenever that particular probability gets added then you can write down their character name next 0.07 when we arrange in a descending order at every step we require to arrange in a descending order 0.07 comes again last now we add 0.09 and 0.07 which is equal to 0.16 so it will comes at this step between the 0.64 and 0.10 so when we add this then this 0.9 is a a c b after that again we are arranging in ascending descending order then next point 10 point 10 point 10 point 10 related to d so d gets added it will comes under this below between the point 64 and point 16 after that we will add point 20 and point 16 which will get point 36 which is nothing but d e a c b after that we are adding all that then we build the huffman tree so here one one is by f d e a c b so f comes here so this is leaf node because if it is of point 64 so we will La print like this. Then after that, point thirty six, point thirty six is D E A C B. Now point thirty six is nothing but point twenty and point one six. So point twenty and point one six. Point twenty is nothing but D. So this is D and E. And point one six is again made up of A C B. And here A is nothing but point not nine. And again this again point not seven and point so not seven is point not five and point not two. So in this way the half moon tree is constructed. so here it is not necessary that we should write down on the left hand side one or in the right hand side zero but if we start from one particular fashion we require to follow that particular rule for example here on the left hand side it is one so in every branches we require to write down left hand side with the one <coughs> now here for f we are representing only one uh, that is variable length code so only with the one bit we can represent for f as it is most frequently occurring so we are assigning the few number of bits to represent that then d with 011 then e with 010 then a with 001 then next c and b are 0001 and 0000 respectively so we can find out that 
this all characters for example d a b they are equiprobable so they are getting the same number of bits to represent and here f is more frequently occur so it is getting only one bit and for c b we are using the four bits to represent now we will calculate the average word length the formula for average word length is number of bits for each symbol into symbol probability so number of bits is nothing but 1 into 0 0.60 then 0 0.10 into 3 0 0.10 into 3 0.09 into 3, 0.05 into 4 and 0.02 into 4. So we are getting total answer is 1.79 which is equal to 2 bits. So to represent this file, we don't require the 8 bits but we can represent this file using the 2 bits. So that's compression is achieved. So variable length coding, using the variable length coding, size of the compressed file is total characters are 133 and averagely each pixel or each character requires the 2 bits so total 266 bits are there but if we don't follow the variable length coding and if we use a fixed length encoding so for each character we are using the 8 bits so 133 into 8 is equal to 1064 bits now the important part is compression and decompression now given sequence so at the center side and receiver side this table is maintained with their character and their variable length coding so we require to encode acf so for a we are using 001 c 0001 e then e is 010 and f is 1 so this particular data is transmitted to the receiver and decoding takes place at the receiver side so first is 0 so 0 comes in all that then again 2 times 0 so only last three characters cases possible after that 001 only this combination match so that is nothing but a then next is again we start with the 0 so 3 times 0 we will get only in the last two cases after that again 1 so it will match with the c next is 0 1 0 so 0 1 0 will match only with d and e then after that again we require 0 so it is e and for f 1 so 1 is present only at f so a c f so at that time so in this way decoding encoding and decoding takes place but for encoding and decoding this table should be present at the center and receiver side now we'll see the next example the problem statement is similar now if such file is given we require to count the each character that is frequency of each character so frequency is calculated total number of characters are 31 after that next step is to calculate the probability so we are we have calculated the probability after that we require to arrange the probability descending order so here the probability is arranged in a descending order and after that we are building the tree so 0 0.10 0 0.06 so bf get attached after that again we arrange this 0 0.16 in descending order so it comes here then we are adding this 0 0.29 so it will comes here then 0 0.99 in this way we are so at last uh, here we are actually getting 0 0.99 because we are getting taking only two decimal places so some loss of precision is there but final answer should be close to one and after that we are arranging like this so one is nothing but 0 0.61 and 0 0.30 then 0 0.61 is nothing but we require to again calculate that how it is formed so in this way we are going down down side and we are representing this half month tree and where leaf node is we are representing a square bracket so it is easy to find out the number of bits to represent Now here we can see that for D we require only 2 bits, for A 0 1, C 0 0. So in this way we are using the number of bits to represent each character. So the characters which are frequently we are getting the few number of bits. So that is nothing but your Huffman encoding. Average word length so 2 into 0 0.30, 2 into 0 0.19, 2 into 0 0.19, 3 into 0 0.13, 4 into 0 0.10 and 4 into 0.06 so we are getting closely 3 bits so compression achieved is nothing but 31 into 3 is equal to 91 bits and instead of uh, a variable length coding if we use uh, fixed length encoding we require total 31 into 8 is equal to 248 bits now we require to again do encoding decoding for example for bdf b is 1011 d is 11 and f 1010 at the decoder side first we will check the combination 1 1 is present here 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 then 
then next 10 should be there so 10 present in last two then next 101 is required so here only b and f and after that one is there so only the character gets separated is b then then again 11 11 is continuously present only at d so d gets extracted and 1010 so 1 then 10 then 1 and only combination can be possible is f so in this way encoding and decoding takes place takes place at the sender and receiver side respectively so this is a third example the problem statement remains same so these characters are given so total characters are given we will calculate the probability and here we are arranging a descending order after that by similar like previous two problems we build the hopman tree we can find out the we draw the hopman tree first we will do like this after that we will draw the hopman tree and after that we can represent that a leaf node by this square bracket and from that we will get that how many bits are required to represent that particular character we will calculate the average word length is nothing but the probability into the number of bits so 0.36 into 1 0.36 into 2 0.18 into 3 and 0.09 into 3 so here average word length is 2 bits so to store this file only 2 bits are required per each character so size of the compressed file is 22 and if we don't use we require that 88 bits so this compression is achieved with this variable length encoding now sipm so we will just so here space is given only for simplicity but actually when we send the data the data is continuous so though this is nothing but the encoding and decoding and this is same like our previous two example so this problems additional problems are given you try from your side so the character probability and the probability is arranged in descending order so next step you have to do is only to draw the hopman tree find out the number of bits for each character calculate the average word length and perform the encoding and decoding for the cde similar for this problem so i have given the partial solution you require to just complete the next steps of the problem advantage easy to implement produces optimal code and compact code relatively slow depends upon the statistical model of the data that's why we require to calculate the entropy and based on that entropy we can decide we can take the decision whether we can go for this compression type or not difficult decoding is difficult due to different code lengths overhead due to hopman tree application is used in jpeg so jpeg is lossy compression technique but one of the sub steps of the jpeg is the uh, variable length encoding so in that case that hopman encoding is used so this is all about the two co lossless compression technique first one is pack bit encoding and second is nothing but the hopman encoding in the next video i am going to explain the next lossless compression technique that is nothing but arithmetic encoding thank you